All right, in this video, we're going to go over the steps to do a mail merge and create some address labels. First thing you'll need is a address book. So we have Excel open here. This can be achieved using Google Sheets as well, though. Across the top, you can see I have the columns labeled name, last name, job, and so forth. All right. And then in Word, Got a fresh blank document here. We'll go over to mailings. So under mailings, go down to start mail merge. We're going to make labels. And you're going to select 30 per page, laser and inkjet. And make sure your 30 per page has a width of 2.63. The other option would be a width of one inch, which is fine, but that's not what we're doing in this tutorial. Go ahead and click OK. All right, the next step is to select the recipients. And this is where we grab our addresses. So we're going to click there, use an existing list. And we'll go ahead and open up the address book. We'll just say yes, because the document is safe. No risk to the computer. All right, that took way longer than expected, but just be patient and let the software do its thing. If your address book has multiple pages, make sure you select the one you want. And I'm not going to type anything here. All right, so now we're going to design the label. So we'll insert merge field. So the first thing is going to be a name. And then we'll have to hit space, last name, and second row. And these options should be imported from your workbook. We're going to do job title, street, space. And then return city comma state space zip code all right and if at any point you want to see if what you're doing is going to work you can click preview results looks like i am missing a space there and the bottom part's cut off we can turn the preview off and hit space again i'm going to drop the size down to about a 10. anything below eight is going to be hard to read let's see if that did it for us Let's just get rid of the job title altogether. That's not necessary. If you want me to dive deeper into why or how to fit more lines into the sticker, drop a comment below and we'll see if we can get that out for you. We need to put a space there and we'll click update. So now all the labels have the same format and it looks good. So I have some here with the brackets and a letter or a number. Let's see if I have that over here. Okay, yep, that's coming from here. So that can just be ignored. So we're gonna have to import the data again. So I'm gonna select recipients, use existing. All right, the uh, new file has been uploaded, updated, and everything looks good. So at this point, I'm going to hit finish and merge. We're going to print. And instead of just printing right now, I'm going to go down and save as a PDF. That way, I can have a copy of this ready and print it whenever I need. If you guys have any questions about this process, let us know down below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.